Wow. It's just already recording, huh? Yeah. No it's sound? Start, starts on it. Or no, it has a speaker on there, so there's it, sound. It does, yeah, it does record. So it's recording my voice. Mm -hmm. Well, here we are. <laughs> yeah, inspired by that, that dude at the uh, Sam's last night. No, what'd he say? Uh, the, that Asian guy. With oh, the, the guy with yeah. obvious... Um, Blogging. Yeah. Like, oh, is that what he was doing? Yeah. I thought he was just talking to himself like a maniac. No, he like watched it later too. He's like, it's like, so what are you doing? DM me. Like, it's totally like he has <laughs> followers. Um, oh yeah, over here, connected to the Pet Smart or whatever it is. Um, Pet at Food Express. That's where I got my cat. Cool. The uh, Marin Humane Society's second location called the Kitty Corner. Okay. Sick. Yeah. yeah, my friend in Salt Lake City that I saw the night before last, he got a um, guinea pig recently. Mmm. And I asked him why. He said, I just wanted a little pet. And we were petting it and just, you know, holding it. It was so satisfying. Mm. And he said they're relatively easy to take care of, you know, cheap, but certainly less hassle than a dog. Yeah. You definitely don't have to walk it or anything. But I guess they have common health problems. I like, <laughs> I prefer cats because, like, I don't know, my old girlfriend liked, um, like, rabbits a lot. Yeah. And I just never related because it's like this thing where it's like they're just like absolute wild animals. Like they have no. They haven't been bred for homes in the same way. They they just don't have like any. And they can't really wander around your home. They're in a cage. Yeah, and they, they just don't like they don't they're not attached to you. Mm -hmm. They don't like cats might like not give a shit about you, but they like know who you are. And yeah, like, there's a narcissistic element the cats the dogs don't have, but yeah. that's more relatable than dogs, their eagerness. Yeah, I like, I like, um, I mean, I like both cats and dogs, but I like cats for their uh, self-reliance. I'm rarely annoyed by a cat, more frequently by a dog. Yeah. I love dogs, too. Yeah, cats and their bad behavior is, almost, is uh, a lot more easy to accept, I think. Mm -hmm. Heidi has three cats, and I'm allergic to cats, so that's why, well, so first of all, Heidi already has three, so if I ever fantasize you're getting a pet, it's not usually a cat, even uh, though, yeah. I used to think I didn't like cats, whatever, as a child, I thought I was a dog person, because I yeah. thought that that's how things worked, and my family had a cat for like a month, and it peed on my bed, mm -hmm. um, yeah. and then we gave it to my cousins, who like, gave it away soon after. Anyways. This is the intersection where I saw George Lucas driving. Wow. You hear that? <laughs> Television audience? <laughs> this is it. This this is where George Lucas was last seen. Last known. It's a convertible, right? No. Okay. You just saw him through the window. Mm hmm. Cool. Um Let's see, cats, dogs, oh yeah. So, but since I started dating Heidi, she has these three very magnificent cats. Mm. I can show you a picture of one. I'm going to stop right here. I'll show it to you guys too. <laughs> Stupid. Um, but, um, so she, there's one that she's had for a while who's like a... Um, Tabby, I think. Mm. All three cats are female, named Yoko. Um, and then when she moved to, oh good, more cat pictures, even, even normal. Um, when she moved to Portland, she got on, was on Craigslist and saw this other cat named Willow, this big, big cat, who normally is very fluffy, but That's here true. you can see the lot, she got the, a new haircut oh, recently. Yeah. This huge cat, very social and very silly to look at. Mm -hmm. And then now, you know, I love this haircut when she gets it on the tail. Crazy. Um, and then, and 
and then most recently. Um, and so then, right, I think the same week that I met Heidi, she there's this stray cat that was around, and she started feeding it, and then she eventually took it in, and then kept it separate from the other cats in the bathroom, and then um, brought it to a vet, and they confirmed that she didn't have disease, mm-hmm. and um, that's Pokey. Pokey, good name. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why the name Yoko is there. I think maybe an ex-boyfriend or something was involved in that, mm-hmm. or maybe. I don't know, I have no idea. The mana bowls, the uh, acai bowls. This is a uh, Fairfax classic hippie town. Okay. Fairfax is the county? Fairfax is the town. Town, okay. And then there's Pokey, who, because she was feral for a while, she's also presumably like the runt of the litter, mm. she loves to drink water as it's dripping. Oh, yeah. She doesn't like to drink water from a pool. And so we leave the faucets on for her. She oh, wow. will hop, she'll hop up, she'll see you, and she's a very gentle, very beautiful cat who is uh, probably the least social and the least needy of all of them. Mm. But she's also she gets picked on because she was the smallest. But anyways, whatever. She hangs out in the bathroom on a little furry bathroom uh, 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 toilet seat. Oh, wow! And that's her little pad. And then you know she'll sort of motion for when she wants the water on and then you turn it off her and she makes an amazing leap of, of uh, yeah amazing leap up onto the sink and stands there and laps at the water for a while it's very uh, very you, you can get there's um there's machines yeah. yeah but i do i think the faucet thing is very nice yeah especially true. since i'm how you just pay a water bill at her current apartment uh, but yeah. um whoa and sunglasses. Um, but yeah, so with these three incredible cats, the first one that Heidi brought with her in Portland likes me the least and hides every time. And you know, after like nearly three years of knowing this cat, like Whoa. she does not trust me. But I think a large part of that's that I don't normally pet the cats. I try and express affection to them verbally, but because of my allergies to them, yeah, yeah. Um, if I touch them, it usually accelerates things. Um, but I do touch them sometimes. Once I was on acid, and I was like, I need to show these cats affection. I was just holding them, petting <laughs> yeah. them. And then one bit me in the fucking face. <laughs> but um, anyway, it's very enjoyable. Anyways. Um, so yeah, I love cats now. I consider them superior to dogs. Mm. I, I relate to them more. As pets, I think dogs have great potential for silliness and uh, whatnot. And I love, you know, palms and whatnot. Mm. Undeniable. Anyways, now everyone on Vimeo can know. Or YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, YouTube. I got I got another cat going. And Vimeo. Is that how it's actually said? Heidi says Vimeo. I always And I say think Vimeo. that's totally just wrong. I think Vimeo, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Heidi will actually be here for a month. She's taking the Celta, the course that Perry and I took in San Francisco. Oh, okay. So she gets here at the end of this month at the beginning of next or something mm-hmm. and um yeah i probably won't be here i might come at the tail end of that but i'll be watching our cats in portland oh okay i don't know i do like the idea of setting people up on lunch dates that without me being present oh yeah so i don't know if you'd be open to hanging out with her at some point yeah that could probably happen cool so yeah she went to mills Okay. <laughs> yeah, she should be at Madeline then. Yeah. Madeline just a grad and studies there, right? Yeah. Yeah, she went to the Art Institute in Chicago. Yeah, that's right. That's where I was going to go. Oh, wow. Yeah, I had a merit scholarship too. Whoa. But um, that totally didn't cover the majority of the tuition each year. Yeah. I mean, it was like um, 50 grand, but it's like 13 grand a year or something, or a little more, one year. Yeah. And 
and I can't believe they gave that to me because I look at the portfolio I sent them and it's like really, really embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, they're they're dealing with pre collegiate art students, like. Yeah. You you gotta you gotta adjust your standards. I guess you gotta you gotta be a professional at seeing potential. I guess. Yeah. And I mean, I guess maybe there's some sort of creativity there, but ultimately things could have gone wrong and I could have just been like a Tim Burton fan or some shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's all I came across in, the, in that portfolio, I think. Oh, yeah. Like paintings of like zombies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Very, so uh, wretched. 16. I went through some of the stuff that I left in my parents' attic recently, mm. and my purpose was ultimately just to rip up... Um, Stuff you couldn't stand. Yeah, exactly. To destroy it. I wish I could do that with so many other things that other people own now. Mm, yeah. I tried to do with a friend that I gave a painting that wanted a painting of mine or, or something. I gave her this horrible painting that I made when I was Jamie Perry's uncle's fake uncle's mentor, or he was my mentor. I was his protege or whatever. Not really, but he was my boss. <laughs> that, um, anyways, I don't know if I've ever told you all about that. You don't have a medical card, do you? No. Yeah. Anyways, um, and so I gave her a newer painting that I like more, that I think is acceptable, but then told her that it was, or no, I, it was her roommate was there when I dropped it off, and I told her that I was going to take the old one, which is just a roll of canvas, with me. I forgot to take the roll of canvas with me, so now she has both. Oh. So now I don't have to fucking do. Oh. Because now she has them both hung on her wall next yeah. to each other. And she's like, it's like I have a museum for you. <laughs> so now I'd probably have to replace the one with two more. Yeah. To equal, you know, not destroy the museum. Yeah. Spirit Rock Center. Meditation center. My mom loves that place. Do they have silent meditation retreats? Um, probably. I know they. They definitely have like. That's the kind of thing they have. I think they do. I think my mom's done it. I would. I'm interested in doing one of those. Maybe at some point, if I ever have a swath of time or something. Yeah. I prefer to do something that was more focused around like working on projects and then mm -hmm. and meditating than something where it's like you have a roommate and both of you are supposed to meditate all day. Yeah. Um, there's some that are super cheap or free basically. Mm. But um, I don't know. When Heidi and I started dating, um, ultimately I met her at a party very briefly that was held at my house and I was very stoned and drunk and um, the concept of the party, pretty weak concept, but it was bring someone that you wouldn't normally bring to someone else's party that might is always down to hang out, but you wouldn't normally bring. Wow. Like, you know, like um, that guy like from work or whatever that always yeah, wants yeah. to hang outside, outside of, work, uh, outside of work. Most of the people did not bring anyone that they wouldn't normally hang out with, unfortunately. Yeah. I invited everyone I knew. <laughs> um, but... And it was in my shitty apartment. And some people did bring over like drum circle shit. And another girl brought over a bunch of clay. Anyways. Um, so Heidi came with this guy that I knew. Um, and unfortunately, at the same time, the ex the, my ex-girlfriend from right before Heidi, the one who gave me this tattoo, showed up after I asked her not to come to it because she was friends with my roommate, she felt justified, and then like it turned into like, she like fought with me in my room, and I was like, fuck, you know, and then the, like this like, the girls group ended up in the my roommate's room, uh -huh. um, and then the dudes, and then the girls that the dudes knew were in the main room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was very messy. But I spoke to Heidi very briefly, and then she like, Message me. I don't know. I guess this is just sort of like a type of proposal that could like inspire interest if you're like interested in someone or whatever. But she was like, "Do you want to talk with only picture messages?" Mm. 
Um, I think she found me from Instagram when I was there. Mm. And so that was it initially. And I was like really involved in sending her these pictures for like a couple, like a week or so. And then we determined that we'd meet up using images of words, you know. Uh -huh. And then we also determined that we wouldn't talk when we met. <laughs> and so we didn't talk at all. I came over to her apartment. We didn't talk and whatever. Um, like things escalated quickly and it was like um, we boned or whatever. And so, uh, <laughs> but then that continued for nearly four months where we wouldn't talk. But then, you know, she became like my lover, my girlfriend, partner, whatever. And so... We still weren't talking. We still weren't talking. We'd use whoa. writing in person. We'd write on a piece of paper oh, whoa. Um, to communicate. And then outside of being together, we would only do picture messaging, which still to this day, we don't send text messages. Mm -hmm. With the exception of maybe an address. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and um, How long have you been together? Nearly, I guess like two and a half years, oh, a little wow. more. So that was the first four months. And yeah. by the time, so ultimately we decided that we would have to start talking eventually because um, that's what you'd want to do eventually, of yeah. course. Yeah. And most people want to do that much sooner than, well, they want to do that right off the bat. And yeah. it's very normal yeah. and um, it's inconvenient. Like, at, um, like when introducing someone to someone else to be like, Oh, but we, I'm not going to talk and they're not going to talk, so you can choose to talk or not, but we're just going to be communicating with you with writing. <laughs> like, that's how Heidi met Perry. Oh, well, yeah. And, um, I don't know, there was, though, like, I mean, I do have some sort of, like, belief in the silence as some sort of, um, having some sort of couples therapy efficacy, mm. but, um, because... You know, it's very hard to fight when you're writing out your ideas and mm. reading someone else's. You're not talking over each other or anything. Yeah. Um, now it's become increasingly hard to revert to that. It just feels like a dumb novelty mm -hmm. in a certain way. But within, you know, a week of spending a lot of time together and communicating only by writing on the paper, like, it felt very normal to do it that way. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, it was lovely in, in its own way. Wow. But I would only hear her voice like at a restaurant when she ordered food. <laughs> That's so crazy. And so, you know, then I became nervous before we started talking that when she heard my voice, that it would like... Break the spell. Yeah, or it just wouldn't be a good enough voice or something. Like, I was like, oh shit, like, are, do all my parts add up better when I don't have a voice? Mm -hmm. But, you know, whatever, my voice is fine. That, uh, actually, uh -huh. have you seen, I think, did I just talk to you about Peter Greenaway? Yeah, I did. Peter Greenaway. Peter Greenaway, uh, he's like, I was talking to you about, like, the, the gender politics in his work. Okay. Um, but his best known movie, The Cook, The Thief, His Wife and Her Lover, um, it's like, Inch viewing? Yeah, you can see fish down there sometimes. I don't know if this is the right season. Um, but salmon? Are there salmon here? Maybe? I'm not even sure. Trout? What do people fish for? Um, the only place I know <laughs> is... The only place I, I know of that has, has the fish is a... That I know about the fish that I think of is like a reservoir okay. with, with added fish. It's probably been so overfished everywhere here. Probably, um. Continue though about Peter Greenway and. Um, oh yeah, so the. Um, his most pop famous movie. Uh, about. So most of the movie takes place in a.
restaurant with this guy who's there every night reading a book. Okay. Um, and then eventually just through like eyeing each other across the Goes off to the bathroom. 